Um, like I said, I was raised in the suburbs. Uh, I worked at Orland Park, Illinois. Um, whether you know people know the suburb out of Chicago, and I was that black guy that people would walk up to. The white guys would walk up to me and be like, "So, yeah, so blah blah blah, Jeezy this or blah blah blah, rap that." And I'm just like, "Yeah, I don't listen to Jeezy." And he's like, "What, dude? You don't listen to Jeezy?" I'm like, "No, not really. I mean, he's cool, but like, not. Nah, I no, don't. You, don't li- you didn't listen to Jeezy when Jeezy was hot. I didn't care. What the fuck was wrong bro, with you? It was other Everybody shit going on. To Jeezy. It was other shit going on. It was other music going on. My bro. president is black. I was literally my learning. Lambo blue. I what? Did not care. I was yeah, like, yo, the Roots got a new album out right now. Let's listen to these guitars. And that's my my point is everybody ain't the same. We're not one linear people. Nigga, you ain't black. You know what I'm nah, saying? And the the, 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 the craziest <laughs> shit. No, but they would tell me that. And and that because would be the joke. It was his, nah, his, his name got, was his name was Tom, which is hilarious. White dude named Tom. And they was like, yo, Tom is blacker than you. I was like, cause he listen to Jeezy? It ain't worse than Tom Cotton. <laughs> Stop. That nigga damn, bro. <laughs> you know but real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> Yo. Wait, but let me How your name Tom? Let me give you quick, one Miami Cotton. beat Boston and now they are up 3-1. Miami's well, up 3-1? We knew that was going to happen. All right. But I just want to say it was crazy to have white people tell me that that thing. I don't know if you ever had this. They always say, "Well, you're they, they say you're black." But I mean, you're not black black. Oh yeah, I got that moment. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I was like, what life. is that? He was, and they would try to explain it, and I would just love it. Oh, bro, I, I fucking love it. <laughs> I'm like, so tell me what that means. I mean, but Joe Biden literally just said, if you don't vote for him, you're not black. Right. Like, but I'm saying, but they would, they, they would say, well, you talk like you're black, but you don't talk with that, like the twang. They can't tell me no shit like that. You know, they couldn't tell me. You know what y'all niggers like do? <laughs> you know, y'all, you're not niggerish you like that. Somebody telling me and Willow, hey, you black, but you're not black. black. It's a very, like, it's a very interesting thing because you have to, and that's why I say it comes back to the article. You have to like, you have to in your brain try to figure out: is it literally out of ignorance of not knowing? Or do you know and you got an angle? What I learned, I don't even and, know no more. And that's what I'm saying. So that's what I can wrap. That's why I can wrap this up. What I learned from from being around all them white people, it was both sides. There was legitimately white guys who had just never dealt with black people, and I'm talking like they and they're not racist. They right. that's a, and that's a. I mean, and, and I, I'm talking like it's not. It's right not now. a racist thing. It's just legit. They just never dealt with. Oh, hold on, it's a. And, it is a racist well, well, thing, well, but it's on. not a. But it's not a. But it's more of a stereotypical thing. Yeah. It's not really racism. Yeah. It's kind of like they just never seen it. And then what they would say, and, and I'm telling you, like I broke. I, I, this is why I do podcasts, and I would I would ask, well, what do you mean? Talk talk to me. He was like, well, there's only two black guys in my school. One of them sells crack, and the other one we don't even consider him black. And I was like, huh, it's a concept to even white guys. They're like, well, he's not black, black. I mean, that's just Steve. <laughs> you can't, you, you can't know? say no shit like that. But, but, but I would be like, fuck you but mean, I, but, bro. But other than just being angry, what I would do is ask more questions and ask more questions. And so what would happen was I started well, to develop conversation with them. Well, well, you know, it's not because about... I was like, so you just haven't been around that many black people. And well, it was like, no, not really. I was like, so if I'm not throwing a ball or, or dribbling, Oh, and I can speak articulate English to you. That's weird to you. And he was like, "Well, kind of, yeah, because most of the black dudes talk like this." And I'm like, "All right, now that's racist." That. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, "All right, we got to stop." Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> well, here's the here's the thing. Just to get, just to speak to your point a little bit, Barry, about like how like yeah, like oh yeah, I would have smacked him for that. I would have fought him for that. I did that my whole life, and then after a while, you get exhausted from you doing. do. You get exhausted. I did so, it. For, so I did it for. 15, 16 you years. Can't fight everybody. You can't fight everybody. You can't fight everybody. Like, okay. I was getting in fights every day. Right.